There are 98 nuclear reactors here in the United States that provide nearly 20% of the nation's electricity. And as we aim to reduce carbon emissions and address the threat of climate change, there's a company right here in Rockville that's working to solve this challenge. The leaders at X Energy believe their cutting edge nuclear technology will emerge as a safe, viable option for emissions free power. A lot of people, when they think about clean electricity, I mean, they recognize the value of it, right? We all want clean electricity. And the most common things that I hear about are solar power and wind power. Now, you're talking to a guy who made a living developing renewable projects, and I love renewables. But behind every renewable plant, you have something else. That's a fossil fuel plant that creates power when the sun's not shining and the wind is not blowing. And that's the challenge of renewables. We want them. We need them. But you have to have baseload power that is always on behind those plants so that people will have the power when they need it. And we can't do it all just with renewables. And that's the role that nuclear plays. X Energy was founded in 2009 by Cam Gaffarian. Idea of really changing the world. An entrepreneur who invested millions of his own money to get the company off the ground. The X Energy technology is a pebble bed modular reactor. The pebbles are billiard sized spheres of graphite filled with triso fuel particles that are the size of a poppy seed. They are coated in ceramic and can withstand temperatures of 4,000 degrees centigrade. Harlan Bowers is the president of X Energy. It's a very uh, long-term, safe kind of package to, to put the uranium in. Secure, it's extremely hard to break that package down to get to the uranium to do something with it as a bad actor. The X Energy pebble bed reactor will contain about 170,000 pebbles to generate heat and will use helium, not water, to keep the temperature down. The risk of accidents at nuclear power plants is low and declining, and Cell says the safety case for X Energy's technology is exceptional. But what's better about our technology is we start with a fuel that is physically impossible to melt. And it's physically impossible to melt because it's encased in ceramic material that doesn't melt at any of the temperature uh, scenarios that our reactor would see. And when you start with a reactor that cannot melt, you do not need all of the elaborate and expensive safe safety systems around that reactor that would operate in the case of a loss of coolant in a meltdown situation. And so that's the safety benefit. The Honorable J. Clay Sell, CEO of X Energy. Sell has wide experience in the energy area. Clay Sell is the Deputy Secretary of Energy and the administration's point man on nuclear power. He served as Deputy Secretary of Energy for the George W. Bush administration in the early 2000s, where he began his push for carbon-free energy. Today, the X Energy technology has caught the eye of the federal government. Recently, the company was awarded a $3.5 million grant for future study, a partnership they say is key to their success. Development of nuclear power plants, and we, we are a design bureau that is seeking to license our reactor, and we also make this fuel. And the process of designing a reactor and getting it licensed by our friends at the NRC just down the street is a very expensive process. And every reactor that's been brought to the marketplace has done it in conjunction with the government. So we've been very successful, and it's a really, it's a credit to our team at X Energy. DOE, Department of Energy, is interested in promoting all aspects, all different types of technologies at this point, because no one knows what the, what the, who the winner is going to be, so to speak. It is a confirmation of, a kind of validation, right, that that the DOE says that's a, a viable technology for the Department of Energy to put their money towards. The 50-person team recently moved to Rockville from Greenbelt. The draw, Montgomery County's Opportunity Zone, which gives tax credits for capital investments in underserved areas for long-term community building. They are currently renovating their building on Thompson Avenue, which is one block from the Twinbrook Metro Station. You know, been a new push for a new generation, a new technology and innovation. Councilmember Tom Hucker, a big proponent of green energy, stopped by to learn more about X Energy's emerging technology. 
Well, well, it's good to have all kinds of companies in Montgomery County, and uh, you know, a company like this. Why can't they just be recycled like other metals? Exactly. That is doing innovative stuff in the energy space and trying to solve, you know, some well-known problems in, in, in an industry that's very important to the country. Uh, it's great that they're here, and so they have a growing footprint of high-paying jobs in Montgomery County. That's terrific. They're working with partners all over the country, but the headquarters is here, and the folks doing the innovation, um, they want to be here. Look, look at this. New construction here, new construction there, Yeah, you know, new construction there. As they said, because not only is it a great quality of life, you have the access to the most highly educated workforce in the United States. It's really important for us to be um, accessible to the talent base. I mean, we're hiring a lot of young people that like to live in the city, that like to use public transportation. So we already wanted to be in Montgomery County. We wanted to be on the red line. We wanted to be close to the NRC. We wanted to have access to our customers at the Department of Defense and the Department of Energy. But even better than that, this is actually an opportunity zone region, this section of Montgomery County. And so it's a great investment opportunity just in the real estate for us, in addition to being a wonderful home for our technology company. Though X Energy has only been located in Montgomery County for a little over a year. As hard as it is for what Harlan and I do, I mean, we love coming here every day. It's clear company leaders know this is the right place for this revolutionary science that could one day be the answer to our climate crisis. For Made in Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy.